Well, I think there, there is a lot that can be achieved, but I think it's, it's important to have a balance about the foundational economy, because you have to look at the economy of Wales as, as a whole. I think inward investment is near enough a thing of the past, even though we're still relatively successful in terms of bringing in inward investment. I think we have to think about how we, we grow our SMEs to, and, and how we retain those when they get to a certain size, because and there have been two instances lately where some really successful world companies that I know of have been bought out by other companies outside Wales and I think our worry is what's that going to mean for the economy going forward. So I think that there is scope for the foundational economy and what we need to be looking at is sustainable jobs for the future, making sure that these jobs pay a living wage and they actually we actually work to get the people that are unemployed and in our more disadvantaged areas to, to get into employment. So it's a, it's, it's a much wider issue, I think, than has been discussed today. And I do think that one thing that did come up today was how this actually links in with the whole economic policy of the UK and also glo the global economics. Because if you look at, um, at the UK situation, a government for some years has not had a regional policy to actually get the companies in the southeast, attracting them to the areas like Wales and other areas of England where there, there is quite a lot of poverty and social disadvantage. Well, I, I think it's, it's about the supply and demand size, isn't it? It is about supporting um, individual businesses, but it's actually supporting the buyers of services as well to think differently in the way they procure services and it's going to go further than that it's also about linking into the skills the training and getting people into employment so i think it's more about a three-pronged approach it's the supply demand and the skills I do think the framework that we've got under the Wellbeing Future Generations Act is a great framework to work under and I do think we're, we're, we're a world leader in, in, in that legislation and I think that's quite um, a, a good template to actually judge our success going forward and it's, it's not necessarily about money, it's actually about quality of life, people having good income and good jobs.